plus we discussed about the is strategies for conventional uh, softwares. Already we know that there are three types of softwares is the conventional software, object oriented software and web app softwares. Okay. And the uh, conventional software testing strategy we discussed earlier and today we have to discuss about the object oriented software. As we know, what is object oriented? Object and class is the main concern on the object oriented concept. Uh, as uh, information system is more complex, uh, in the case of the information system is more popular and more complex, it is very difficult to manage the conventional softwares. So we just move into the uh, conventional softwares into the object oriented uh, softwares or object oriented paradigms is gains the popularity. So we have design analysis in, uh, analysis and coding by using the conventional uh, sorry object oriented uh, concepts. The conventional uh, testing methods is not appropriate for this uh, type of uh, object oriented. Um, softwares so we moved into conventional software testing into uh, object oriented testing process we already know that in the object oriented concept by having uh, some common terms we are used to that the classes uh, inheritance dynamic binding message pa passing uh, polymorphism, concurrency, likewise we are uh, here about a lot of terms in the object oriented concept. So whenever we are uh, programming with object oriented concept we must test it with these type of uh, things like classes, objects, inheritance, dynamic binding etc. Okay, then mainly focus the, the main focus on the object oriented concept is class and object. So uh, we should, uh, we must uh, test in the class and object and the corresponding behavior and uh, the communication between the class and objects and likewise. Okay, so we have to discuss about the object oriented concept and what's the difference between uh, conventional softwares and object oriented concepts. First of all, we have to discuss about the conventional uh, softwares. Uh, the dependencies occur in the conventional softwares and in the case of the uh, object oriented concepts. The data depend in conventional software the more concentrate on the variables. So data dependencies between the variables. Uh, we are dependent. The data are mainly focused or mainly dependent with the variables. So calling, uh, calling dependencies between the modules. Between the modules the calling dependencies is there. And functional dependencies between a module and the variable it compose. Uh, we are uh, computing the variables by using different types of the functions, whatever the main focus on for the variables. The definition, uh, definitional dependencies between the uh, variable and its type. But in case of the object oriented, the having the class to class dependencies is the class to method, class to message, class to variable, where message to variable, message uh, to method, and method to method. Likewise, the dependencies are going. So uh, we already says that in case of the object oriented concept, the main focus is on for the class and object. So we should. Uh, or we must uh, we must testing these two in the uh, object oriented testing strategy. So first of all, uh, we have to move into unit testing. There are four types of testing concept is the unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and uh, acceptance testing. Then in unit testing, uh, it is. Uh, it is testing the each and every unit of a, a software. So whenever the conventional software, the unit may be the modules or uh, variables or likewise that uh, classifying. But in the case of the auditorial concept, the each unit means it is mainly focused on the class and objects. 
so the unit uh, encapsulates into uh, class and object so the unit testing mainly focused on to the class and uh, object testing this means that the each class and each instance of a class package attribute data uh, and the operations that manipulate this data an encapsulated class is usually uh, the focus of unit testing however the operations methods within the class are the smallest testable unit and uh, because the class can contain the number of different operations and a particular operations may exist as part of the number of different classes the primary aim of unit testing is to uncover the errors within a given unit here the uh, unit is the uh, class and the object so it is testing the class and object in the unit testing the testing method which is considered as a single operations of class term as intra method testing and the testing the integrity of the class as a whole is termed as uh, intra class testing that means the uh, combinations of the class and the uh, inter, uh, intermediate or uh, communication between the classes are also tested in the unit testing the class testing uh, for object oriented software is equivalent for the unit testing for the conventional softwares unlike unit testing of conventional software which tends to focus on the algorithmic details of a module and the data the flow across the module interface the class testing for object oriented softwares is driven by operations encapsulated by the class and the state behavior of the class and the integration next uh, testing process is the integration testing and the integration testing uh, there are three types of integration testing is the uh, first of all the thread based Uh, integration uh, use based and the cluster based these are the three different types of integration testing in object oriented concept first of all we are saying the thread in the thread uh, in the thread it integrates the different uh, classes into a single thread integrate the set of classes required to respond to one input or even for the system it is integrating uh, the classes that is uh, um, depend on a one input is integrated into a thread and this thread is tested individually each thread is integrated and tested individually the regression testing is applied to ensure that no side effects are occurs we already says the regression testing in the case of regression testing an additional uh, module is added and they are checking if there fail any side effects for the regression testing the regression testing involves the testing done to make sure none of the changes made over the course of the development process have caused new bugs and it also make sure no old bug appear from the additions of new software modules over a time the addition of new modules is not affecting the software is uh, mainly focused on the uh, regression testing so it is goes through the regression testing also so in the case of the thread based testing it integrating the multiple classes and uh, multiple classes that is uh, uh, that class mainly focus into one input that's the thread and this thread is integrated and tested individually and the second integration approach is use based testing in the use based testing uh, mean the constructions of the test, test, uh, system by testing those classes uh, independent and it is a, it is a type of testing uh, that use is very few uh, server classes this type of testing is mainly focused on a few server classes first they are testing this uh, uh, very few server classes and after the server classes uh, is tested independently Uh, or the super class or the main class is tested independently and after that which are all the classes depending the super class is uh, tested also 
after the independent class are tested the next layer of classes called the dependent class that means the uh, first tested class is depending some other classes so that is also tested in the use case uh, testing and likewise every classes is tested in the uh, use case use based testing the sequence of testing layers of dependent classes continues until the end of system is constructed so first of all they are tested a very few or uh, important server classes or uh, the base class or the super class is tested first and uh, tested individually after that the uh, it is tested with the dependent classes uh, who are depending the super class and the uh, independent class is tested and this process is continuous until uh, all the uh, classes is tested then next testing process is uh, cluster testing so in the case of the cluster testing uh, it is one step in the integration testing of object oriented software then here a cluster of collaborating classes is exercised and by designing uh, by designing test cases that attempt to uncover the errors in the collaborations it is the another type of testing which makes the uh, the uh, it integrating the cluster uh, integrating the classes as the cluster and the cluster of collaborating classes uh, the different uh, classes that is collaborated into a cluster and this cluster is uh, tested Uh, this cluster is exercised by designing the test case that attempt to uncover the errors in the collaborations. These are the integration testing. These two types of testing is mainly focused. These two types of uh, testing is mainly focused in the case of uh, our object oriented concept. So uh, this is all about the uh, object oriented testing process. Next, we have to move into the web uh, testing process. Okay then.